Lovely. Lara, welcome to your musculoskeletal station. Um, this is Georgia. I'd like you to examine her, please. Hello, Georgia. My name's Lara. I'm one of the doctors. Thank you very much for letting me examine you. Is this mum as well? Yes, good morning. Yeah, hello. All right. Can I ask you a couple of questions to start with? Mm -hmm. Have you got any pain in your back or in your muscles or your joints anywhere? Does it hurt anywhere? No. No? Good. All right. And any problems when you walk up and down stairs? Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. um, not anymore, but when I had... Um, the, when I um, cut my knee open, I found it. It was a bit sore. Oh, you've got a nasty scar there. And what about getting dressed? Any problems um, with doing buttons or anything like that? No. No. Okay, good. All right. Can we see you walk to start with? You want to walk over that way towards Hannah and then turn around and come back for me over to the door. Fantastic. Can you walk on tiptoes now, like this, or tippy toes? Ah, that's great. Okay, lovely. And can you walk like this for me? On your heels. It's a bit trickier that one, isn't it? Great. All right. Lovely. That's fine. Can we quickly take your shoes and socks off so I can have a little look at your ankles and toes? Brilliant. Go on, just put them over there so you don't fall over them. That's it. You have to take your socks off as well. It's all right. Thank you. Perfect. Do one more. Great. Okay. All right. So come and stand up straight in front of me. I'm going to stand facing me. That's it. Stand up really straight, tall as you can. I'm just going to have a look down the side. On this side. That's fine. Okay. Lovely. I'm going to have a look at your back, is that all right? If you stay facing the door, I'm just going to lift up your t-shirt. Let me just lift it up. Oh. There we go. Fantastic. This feeling, is it tickly? <laughs> Feel your spine. Okay, all right. Can you touch your toes for me? You want to bend over? Touch your toes as far as you can. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Do you want to sit down for me again? Okay, we're going to do some actions and things now. Can you look right up like that for me? Good. And put your chin on your chest. Okay. If anything hurts when we're doing it, just tell me, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, look over towards the door for me and over towards Mum. Good. Can you put your ear on your, on your shoulder? Is that okay? On this side? Good. Does that all feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Can you put your arms up to the ceiling? Very good. Now can you put them out towards me? Yeah, and make a fist. Okay, turn them over. Very good. All right, let's have a little look at your hands. Come back this way. Okay. All right, let's turn them over again. Okay. All right, let's have a look at this side as well. Fantastic. Now, can you do this? Very good. And can you do that with each of your fingers on each side? That's brilliant. Quick as you can. Fantastic. All right. Can you do this for me now? Like this? Really good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Can I get you to sit on the couch for me now? Yeah? It's a bit high, so we might need to lift you up. There is a step, though. How do you feel? Are you alright to get up there? That's it. So sit this way and relax back. So I'm going to have a look at your legs now. Okay. Can we get you to lift this leg up? Lovely. And bend your knee for me. Okay. I'm just going to bring your foot in. Does that hurt at all? You no. Know? And that way. Perfect. Thank you. And just bend your knee again. Lovely. Have a look at the other side. So I'm just going to go in that way. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Well done. Just feel in your knee. Okay. Can you move your, your, your toes up and down for me? Good. All right. I'm just going to have a look. So you have got that. When did you hurt your knee then? Last year. Oh. It must have been quite a big hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Pop, pop your legs on the side for me. I just want you to do a couple more things with your hands. Can you do this for me? And can you do this? 
Very good. And can you try and put your thumbs across as much as you can? Really good. All right. Lovely. I think that's everything I would like to do. Thank you very much. I'm going to have a sit next, see you next to Mummy. Would it be all right to ask George how old she is? Certainly. How old are you? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. We'd like to present? Yeah. Okay. So today I've examined Georgia, who is eight and a half years old. She looks well grown for her age, but I'd like to plot her weight and height and head circumference on a growth chart. Um, on examination with her PGARS, she reports um, that she's asymptomatic without any pain anywhere. Did previously have her sore knee having fallen. Um, <clears throat> she doesn't report any functional difficulties either. Um, her gait is normal and she does not struggle at all with tiptoe or heel walking. Um, and I could find no abnormalities in her lower limbs in terms of her range of movement. Um, in terms of her upper limbs, she has on her on her right hand and she is missing her index finger and she has a, a malformed thumb. Um, there is a scar at that area but the it's well healed um, and in terms of function she's not compromised by this. Um, the rest of her arm, her arm movements and her neck movements are good range of movements and she has a normal spine with no scoliosis. So in summary George is an eight-year-old girl um, who has um, a missing index finger and a small um, malformed thumb on the right side but does not appear to be compromised by